International Media reported the U.S. State Department has made a determination approving a possible foreign military sale to Taiwan for the M1A2T Abra main battle tanks and related equipment and support for an estimate cost of $2 million. In the history of formation and development, the Taiwanese armed forces use a lot of military equipment provided by the U.S. government as M68-3 Patton tanks, M109A6 Paladin Hall whistles, and AS-1W Cobra attack helicopters, as well as updating existing equipment. According to Taiwan's Ministry of Defense, the contract to buy 108 M1A2T tanks will have the island replace Taiwan's aging American-made M60A3 main battle tanks and the Taiwanese manufacturer M48H CM11 tanks. Taiwan is operating about 450 CM11 Brave Tiger tanks. CM11 is a strength tank produced by Taiwan itself. The unusual point here is a hybrid design between the M60 chassis fitted with the turret from the older M48 pattern and the fire control system of the M1 Abrams with M48's outdated turret. It is hard to say if this is an improved or reversal tank version. The design work began in the early 1980s. At this time, the Republic of China established the Armor Vehicle Development Center and was tasked to develop military armor vehicles. CM-11 was born under the cooperation of General Dynamics. The development of the tank has two main purposes. First was to avoid the limitations set by the U.S. PRC Joy Communicator, and second was to allow the Republic of China Army to acquire second-generation main battle tanks. As a hybrid design, CM-11 used the M68-3 hull was procured from the United States in 1987. CM-11 used the M48-A3 turret and the M68-A1 105mm main gun was produced by the Army Ordnance Maintenance and Development Center. The commander's turret was procured from Israel with an M2 Browning 12.7mm machine gun. The loader operates an M240 7.62mm machine gun. The coaxial machine gun is also an M240. Both sides of the turret have an M239 smoke grenade launcher mounted, like the M60 A3 tank. It was introduced to the public on April 14, 1990. The United States designated it as M48H, where the H means hybrid, and the Republic of China designated it CM11 and named it Brave Tiger. In 1988, two prototype CM11s were finished and 450 CM11 were ordered to build. CM-11 equipped with a hull is a Continental AVDS 1792CR current twin tubal diesel engine providing 750 horsepower. This kept the vehicle a maximum road speed of 48 km per hour on prepared surfaces. The greatest features and advantages of this 50 tons machine are that it has the same level of digital and analogy hybrid ballistic calculator as the M1A1 Abram MBT. It has two dimensional sighting and gun stabilization system, more complete than the M60A3's one dimensional stabilizing device. Combining the ANVSG2's thermal emitter, ANVVS2 Image Intensifier, ANGVS5 and the YAG Laser Range Fighter. This allowing the CM11 to have fire on the move and night combat capabilities. It also has the highest probability of first round hit compared to all other Republic of China Army tanks, like the base M48 before it. The CM-11 would be crewed by four personnel made up of the driver, the gunner, loader, and vehicle commander. 
The commander's position was at the right of the turret, just behind the gunner, while the loader was situated to his left. Base armor protection reached 143mm at the most critical facing. As mentioned above, CM-11 was developed based on the murders that had passed the peak, so designing armor and guns were outdated. The Chinese PRA second generation Type 96G tank and its third generation Type 99 tank are both armed with 125mm main gun. The CM-11's armor does not offer significant protection against their 125mm APFSDS and his shots. Hiroka knew this disadvantage very early and tried to introduce explosive reactive armor from the French company Jatt. However, the weight of the additional area installation caused the excessive stress on the M60 chassis torsion bar suspension, so plans to install area on the tanks were put on hold until a solution was found. Throughout his life, the CM-11 encountered some serious incidents. In 1916, the 105mm gun of Taiwanese tank explodes during firing cells in North Huku Test Tenor. One soldier was wounded. Earlier, Taiwanese tank has plunged from a 3m bridge in heavy rains after a military drill, killing three soldiers. In 1917, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense started new tank upgrade program, for which it allocated $6.5 million to state or national Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology for research and development of upgrades package for 450 M60 A3 TTS, which begins in 2018. At the moment, the armed forces of Taiwan are in desperate need to update the fleet of their main battle tanks under experts' assessment. Taiwan needs to purchase more than 500 new tanks for parity with armed forces of continental China. My video about CM11 Brave Tiger answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please show me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.